Hi everybody and welcome back to another The More You Know with St. Jerome Latin Nouns. So we talked about nouns in English last time, now we're going to talk about nouns in Latin and kind of how they look. Now nouns are the same thing, thankfully. They are still people, places, things, and ideas. Um, and they still do some of the same things. Subject, object, direct object, indirect object, objects and prepositions. They still do all that. But the other two things are very, very different. So in English, we knew the syntax because of where it was. In Latin, we know the syntax because of what the ending of the word looks like. Okay, what does that mean? Well, Latin nouns do something that's called decline. And each one is in a family that's called a declension. And each noun is only in one declension. And we won't get into exactly how you determine that, what you do with that. Just want you to know that Latin nouns do change their endings. So what that means is think back to our example in English of singular and plural. House to houses. You add an S, it goes from singular to plural. In Latin, you change that ending and you change everything. One ending is for subject. A second ending is for um, direct object. Another ending is for indirect object. And then they have two more endings for objects of prepositions because they go into a lot more detail with the prepositions. And because of that, because they have all those endings for all the different things this word can do, both singular and plural, so they're different if it's singular and plural, word order doesn't really matter. Right? A lot of times you don't even need to use a preposition just because you have an ending there. The preposition becomes redundant, so you don't have it. Uh, of course, the evolution of language is the reverse. We started off with cases, and as people used fewer cases, people used more prepositions to make it clear, wait, what does this word mean here? Let's put in a preposition so we're all clear what it means. In Latin, you don't need to do that. Uh, Church Latin does use more prepositions than Classical Latin does because of the number of non-native speakers not really being sure, wait, what am I supposed to do with this word here? Let's start adding more prepositions so it's a little bit more clear. So you'll probably see more prepositions than I'm used to seeing uh, from reading like Virgil and Ovid. But you can't completely depend on them. You do need to look at the ending. So that is really, really, really important. You know what a noun is doing in Latin because of its ending, not because of its word order. And the third thing is the gender. Latin, or in English, again, we don't really use gender, but in Latin, it's really important. Um, mostly just for adjectives, which we'll talk about later. But there are three genders in Latin. Masculine nouns, feminine nouns, and neuter nouns. There are some tidbits for which one is which, but by and large you just have to memorize it, right? Every noun only has one gender, just like every noun only has one declension, so only one set of endings, only one gender. Um, and that's kind of the deal with Latin nouns in a big overview way. Now I'm going to do some non-skienda videos, just going over in detail the different declensions. Uh, you may or may not want to watch them. It depends on you and how well you want to know Latin. I would suggest mainly watching through it just so you get more used to this idea of what a, a noun looks like. But actually, I will do one more video on Latin nouns talking about declensions and cases a little bit more and then do the non-scanda videos. So until then, bye.